Kenya Kwanzaa government on the question of housing so that we interact not only with the piecemeal launching of housing as has been seen in Langata, in Kibra, Madare constituency as it is is also very ripe for the question of housing and even as we support the government on this question, it is important that we consume holistically the intention and the approaches that this government will do so that not only the people of Kibra, the ones who are living at the railways and the ones in Emuhaya and countrywide, but everybody who is supposed to benefit on the question of local housing is able to be comprehensively addressed as we come up with the report for this committee. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. I also stand to support the petition. The petition has a very good idea because you see in Kibura you find most people who are benefited that they are not the real beneficiaries. We support the petition and I wish that the, com the committee should stand tall and make recommendable policies that will make sure that the rightful people who are supposed to benefit the right things should benefit. Otherwise, I support the petition fully. The Honorable Beatrice Elach. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I also rise to support this petition. And Mr. Speaker, just to ask the committee to look at two things. Number one, we want to know those who are asking for compensations. Are they the tenants or are they the landlords who decided to ask for this petition? And I'm hoping those who are going to be compensated must be the tenants. They are the ones who are living there, not the landlords. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, we also want to know how many units have been built and how many of the citizens of Kibera who are supposed to be compensated and to be given these houses are they, so that we don't go into a process and then find that very few of them will be the beneficiaries. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, I'm hoping within the housing project that we have all over Nairobi that we are able to look at everything and to ensure that those who deserve these affordable houses are able to be given. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Elachi. The Honorable James Gakuya. It has no sound. Use the next one. Uh, thank you, uh, Honorable Speaker, for having this opportunity to also uh, raise to support the uh, petition on the floor. Mr. Speaker, having been a, a member from this locality of Nairobi County, I have a, a big knowledge that uh, there was uh, that serious demolition of uh, those uh, occupants who are, which are along the railways. And Mr. Speaker, as I support that the original beneficiaries of these particular houses along Kibila, I would also want to put my voice that uh, other areas were equal beneficiaries like Makandala and elsewhere. But this particular project did never uh, po uh, consider holistic uh, areas where this demolition took place. Area like Dandora was affected on a very serious demolition of those houses along there. And I urge that the committee that will take charge on this uh, petition, they also go a wider space to check on those other areas that were not considered to have those houses. I also want to raise my voice that uh, there was an audit that was done before the construction of this house, and that list is there, and therefore I urge that the committee should sort for the original list so that the beneficiaries can be clearly known. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this opportunity. Thank you. The Honorable Patrick Macau.
the Honorable Patrick Macau. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You uh, thank you. Chance? Mr. Speaker, thank you for this chance. Uh, the, the petitioner is very right. Mr. Speaker, Mavoko happens to be one of the beneficiaries of those housing schemes. And Mr. Speaker, yes, I agree. If there are housing schemes that are meant for the poor, let them be for the poor. Mr. Speaker, a case in point is uh, in Mavoko, Mulolongo Phase 3, where the government partnered with the UN Habitat. And Mr. Speaker, to my surprise, when those houses were complete, I saw adverts asking for government scale 10 to 15 to apply for the houses, yet they were built for the informal sector of Mavoko. Mr. Speaker, so I know the pain of this petitioner. When houses are built meant for a certain class of people, let them be the beneficiaries and those that are able. Mr. Speaker, I'm saying shame on you because shame on them because Mr. Speaker. Shame on the Speaker? No, no, shame on them. Shame on the. I, I, I withdraw. I withdraw, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, I mean shame on the people who are occupying those houses which are not meant for them.